Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Wright at here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. We have a patient here who attended with a blocked right ear, so this is their right ear. Uh, the, the earlier clip was of their left ear. There was some wax, but it was non-including wax. It wasn't affecting the patient, it was near the entrance. It was on its own way out, if truth be told. And the eardrum was fully visible. And most importantly, the patient didn't report any symptoms there. So we're just focusing on this, their right ear. And it was actually their, uh, the patient's friends and family who were complaining that they felt the patient wasn't hearing so well. So just beginning uh, with microsuction using a standard zone suction probe. The wax is quite firm and therefore I immediately instilled some medical grade olive oil spray which helps to soften the wax. It also helps to obtain a better suction grip. And you may see at the bottom I've just detached that from the floor of the ear canal. And I'm just working at the back part here to uh, loosen it from the posterior canal wall. And I'm giving it a little wriggle. Now, whilst I was doing this, the patient reported it to be slightly uncomfortable on a couple of occasions. And I'll just sh try to show you the moment when the patient did. I think it was any moment now. And as you can see, we're not actually making contact with the canal wall. I think it was here where the patient reported it. So I stopped momentarily. And I was just having a, I just went back in to have a look just to see what may have been causing that. Um, and I actually showed the, pa the, the patient video back just to reassure the patient that we're not making contact with the ear canal or the eardrum because quite often patients are worried about that. And what was causing the discomfort, again, it happened again. What was causing the patient some discomfort was the fact that this plug was so large, and you'll see it at the end of the video, that as I was extracting it, um, it was rubbing, it was making contact against the canal wall and it was, although this outer part is a bit softer, the, the core of the wax plug and the, the tip of the wax plug that's deeper in the ear was quite rough, it was like sandpaper. So as you're bringing that out, it's abrasing the canal wall. In fact, the patient mentioned at the end of the procedure that the ear felt a bit itchy and I explained it's just because the wax plug was making contact with the canal wall and that should just settle down. So I'm just using a combination now of a Jobson horn and a St. Bart's ear hook. I'm just trying to leverage this out and I'm doing it in pieces and blocks. You can see that I've actually used the Jobson horn to dissect some of the wax into a smaller piece and bringing that out. Now there's a little gap there, a little opening just at the root. So I think I'm going to go with an ear hook so I can glide over the top, in and behind. And I'm just going to go into the core of the wax. I'm going to get this out in three segments overall. The entrance was a bit narrow, so as I'm bringing the wax plug out, it's getting trapped near the entrance. So this wax that on screen now is actually vis visible externally. So if you're stood beside the patient next to her there, you would have actually seen this wax hanging out of the ear. Again, just use the jobs and horns. So you can see the gap's a bit bigger. So I'm going to use the Jobson horn to get in and behind now and just gently leverage this out. And this is the big piece and you'll see it at the end. I've got a, a still image of it. That's the patient's eardrum, nice and healthy. Um, I suspect the wax plug was attached to the back part of the ear canal because it's a bit red there. So probably a, bit, a few skin adhesions and that's another potential cause for the slight discomfort the patient experienced. Just some sticky wax just at the entrance of the ear canal. Just going to mop that up for the patient. And we're going to have a, one final look at the eardrum again. And see this there, you can see the blood vessels are slightly dilated, so I suspect the wax plug was attached to the canal wall in that region. So that's all the, the wax that I removed, and I've got the ear hook there uh, to give some perspective. And this is a close-up of that large plug, the last plug that I removed. Just see how dark it is, so we know it's been there for a while, the darker the earwax it's oxidized within the ears, so it's been there for longer. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care, keep well, and speak soon. Thank you, bye.